Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds, back for another exhilarating video. Today we have gold, watches, necklace, watch strap, lots of fun stuff. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. If you like it, please like, subscribe, comment. We're trying to hit a million subscribers. This video is going to be a banger. So, first item, got this yesterday. Six box, silver, necklace, and pendant. Clean it up, 40, 50 bucks all day long. And remember, everything you see here today is for sale on my Etsy, link in the description. Now, I went to a thrift store this morning. This, they charged me $2 little bit of wear up there. 10K. Emerald. Clean it up a little bit. That's a good score. Next item. Ring. 925, 550. That's a good score. Now these next two. 925 silver. But... That's not silver. That says 14K. And similarly, this one says 18K. It's like HGE. Now, I don't know if this is gold. I've never seen HGE. Um, I know this is gold. I won't worry about testing it. Let's test these two quick. So again, we're just going to take the scratch stone, back of the ring, do a little looks right, and let's take the 14K and just see what happens. I hate when it has that little, um, bubble in it but that's what I want to see it going back to yellow and that's gold so we have the scale so let's just say five grams Five times 45 is about $225 in scrap. That's not a bad for a day's work. This little guy. Okay, so 30 something dollars in scrap. I'll sell this. I'll sell these for more than scrap, but let's just say scrap. Now this guy. And after we're gonna pull out the diamond tester. I always like to do back of the ring. Let's see what this guy is. We'll do it right here. And my acids are brand new. Mmm, looks plated. Let's use 14 just to give it the best option. Yeah, and you can see the 14 ate away on that almost instantly. That's not gold. When you get two gold, it's always worth taking a gamble. So on this big guy, let's take out the diamond tester. Let's, there uh, we go. Remember, always complete the circuit, like so. I think it's, yeah, we'll leave it like that. Then it's gonna come up with a red light. Hopefully soon. It takes it a little bit to warm up, but um, once it warms up, we just press it, and if it goes up to here, it's a diamond. It'll go ding, 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 ding. So let's see with this guy first. I doubt it. Nothing. Almost looks like a diamond. Complete the circuit. No. 
No, probably like a cubic zirconia. But now we know, right? Turn off my scale. So that $25 investment, good, good. Now let's move on to the watches. Now for that gold and silver, I think it was like 25. For all what I'm gonna show you next, the straps, the watches, Canadian was 85 bucks. So first up we have um, a couple watches. Now I know there is a complete set to this one. It might be in the other box. Nice old school watches, straps. A um, little bit of just miscellaneous stuff. At this thrift store, I negotiated and got it for one price when you buy a lot. Then in here, we have watch straps. These things are like gold. Anytime I see them, I jump on them. Yeah, here's the other end to that watch strap. Let's see, we have some of these are, um, say, Oris. I don't think these are real Oris straps. But still, these are like gold in this size. Nice little watch strap. We have some extra spring bars. Some more watch straps. We have half a Hirsch. Probably seems to be re-glued. I don't know if I have the other half. No, because I think... Yeah, some of these look used. Hmm. We do. Okay, so I do have the entire Hirsch. My guess is this, maybe it needs to go around and be glued. And these are expensive. Yeah, see, we got a couple's nice straps here. And you know, again, like this one, put one of those um, hooks in it, which we have. And see, these are just good to have. And these, the owner pretty much threw these in. Now, let's jump on the watches. First watch is a Polex. Now, I don't know if this is a Rolex knockoff, if it's a drill company, I don't know. But it winds, it runs, it's a Polex. Next up, we have this Tissot. Now, he had it priced for 20 but I got a good discount on everything bundling. And this one, there's something up with the stem. It You try to wind it, and it just turns. It doesn't really want to come in, doesn't really want to come out. So this one, I'm going to have to play with a little bit. I looked inside, maybe a little bit of water damage. So this one, a little bit of a project on that. Next up, we have a Citizen Eco Drive. Beautiful watch. I assume if I put it under a light, it'll work. Issue is straps had it, but we have an entire um, box of straps, so I'm not too worried about that. Next up, we have a Caprice. Tag fell off. You know, decent strap, clean watch. That's a couple dollar watch, nothing too fancy. Now I'm doing this in order kind of from not as great to great. This is a old Seiko quartz, nice condition, ladies dress watch. These sell super fast. You know, price it for 40, 50 bucks, it'll move. No, oh, and he did throw in nurse's watch. I mean, I don't think that's much of a value, but it's there. Now, these are the better watches now. Caravel by Bulova, 1971. Beautiful watch, looks almost brand new. Just look how clean that dial is. You usually don't see these watches just this clean. And this guy runs like a hot damn. So you know, that's a good score for that. Next up, we have a Citizen Automatic Ladies Watch. I'll show you guys at the back. And see this one, not running, but let's give it a little twirl. It's running. Um, just polish the 
crystal a little bit, but look, it's in, it's even clean, original strap. That is a nice little watch. Now the last two. Little Seiko Ladies Automatic. Oh, and this one, I picked it up, it's running. These are just beautiful. And look at the condition. You usually see these scratched up. I know these came from the same person. So they probably didn't wear them much. Now the last watch, my favorite, is this. Is this an automatic? I think it is. Seiko strap. Yeah, automatic. 17 jewels. The only downside is this is a small, small strap. So somebody may want to change it. My wrists aren't even that big. Let's see. Is this going to fit? No, that's just a bit too tight. But look at that beautiful, beautiful watch. I don't know, this might be mechanical because it ran for a sec. Which unfortunately, it's just a little bit too small. My big gorilla hands. Just kidding. It might be a mechanical. But to the person, this could even be unisex. Crystal is almost mint. They may just want to change the strap, like a leather strap, NATO strap. Then this could be enjoyed by a lot more people. That's the video. Thanks for watching. Oh, sorry, we have one more item. This is a um, Omega watch box. Vintage. Cool item. Sorry, I almost forgot about that. It's easy. It's kind of cool. Probably for ladies watch. So, um, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.